What's that sound? That's the sound of a Sephora package. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on the new mascara that recently launched from Hourglass. It's their new Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. I purchased this as soon as it launched exclusively on the Sephora app. I knew that I wanted to have this mascara, I wanted to try it out for myself, so I figured that I would share my thoughts on this product with you guys, as well as a demo. So that is why I look a little strange. I literally have a full face on, but no mascara. So let's go ahead and get that taken care of. And if you want to know my thoughts on the new Hourglass Mascara, keep on watching and we'll get to blending mascara. I don't know. Let's just get to blending, okay? All right, so the new Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. This retails for $29. Um, the details on this product on the Hourglass website is, uh, this is an all-in-one mascara that delivers endless length, intense volume, and sky-high lift for extreme dramatic lashes. The combination of the innovative 4D amplifier brush with the continuously buildable formula creates lashes that defy the boundaries of traditional mascara. The features and benefits of this mascara, it has a 4D amplifier brush, combines two brushes in one to deliver volume, length, lift, and definition for extreme lashes. Saturate lashes from root to tip for the most volume in a single stroke perfectly coats the bottom lashes without smudging onto the lower lash line. Okay, that is the most annoying thing when you're putting mascara on the lower lash line and either it's the mascara or my clumsy self, it's probably my clumsy self, when it just droops and gets all underneath that perfected concealer. A moment of silence. So it sounds like this is supposed to lengthen, lift, and volumize your lashes. As far as my lash type and what I look for in a mascara, I look for a mascara that's going to lengthen my lashes. I have pretty short lashes, um, but they are thicker and a little darker, so I always need help as far as lengthening the lashes, but I could use some help in lifting the lashes as well because my lashes are very straight, so they are straight, they are thick, and short. So I'm not always looking for a mascara specifically to volumize my lashes just because that's not what my lashes need, but I could definitely use any help I can get. So let's go ahead and um, get up close and take a look at the packaging. The mascara comes in a gold mirror-like box. It has the name of the mascara. It does come with 0.33 ounces of product inside. So outside packaging is very basic. So let's go ahead and get into the actual product. It comes in a beautiful triangular shaped bottle and it has a gold chrome finish to it and it just says Hourglass a caution mascara on it. Hourglass always really impresses me with their packaging. They definitely put a lot of time and thought into it. It feels heavy duty. It feels like it's great quality and I just love how luxurious it looks. We're gonna get a little up close and personal here. We're gonna get into application. I am gonna go ahead and curl my lashes with my Shiseido eyelash curler. Not gonna do anything different that I don't normally do for my lashes. So we're gonna go ahead, go in and curl. Um, the way I apply mascara is I'll curl one eye and I'll quickly apply mascara just so the mascara can catch the curl. Although most of the time the lashes just fall right back down. Okay, so I went ahead and curled this eye a good bit. So let's go ahead and apply the product. I'm really going to make sure I get from root to tip because it says that way you'll get lots of volume in your lashes. Okay, so here it is with one coat. So um, it really looks like it lifted the lashes for sure. It definitely lengthened them. Let me see if I can give you guys like a little side view here. Not sure if you guys can see the lashes. From the side, they definitely look like they had a good lift. They have a good curl to them. It seems like um, the mascara really caught the curl. So um, let's go ahead and apply a little bit more. Not noticing any clumpiness so far, which is a good sign. Nothing more annoying than a clumpy mascara. And ain't nothing cute about clumpy lashes. Okay, so this is with no mascara and this is with mascara. Same thoughts as what I just shared with you guys. It really caught the curl from the eyelash curler and it really lifted them. I feel like it lengthened them as well. So, so far I am pretty impressed. So we're gonna go ahead and go onto the other eye and we're gonna quickly apply it. No. 
Okay, if we can ignore this for like two minutes, I'm gonna let it dry, then wipe it away. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm gonna finish layering the mascara on the other eye. So far, I really do like the mascara. Um, I really like how it lengthened my lashes. I just feel like a lot of mascaras don't do this. And it also made them really curly. And for how straight my lashes are, it's very impressive. Um, it really gives me false lash vibes. And I really feel that it made them very baby doll-like. As you can see, the lashes look really nice. They look lengthened, voluminized, and very fluffy, but not clumpy at all, which is super nice. I'm gonna be doing a wear test on this mascara, so I'm gonna wear it as long as I can. It is 2.51 right now in the afternoon, so I'm gonna go ahead and wear it the rest of the day, and we'll see how it handles and see if it does anything funky on us. All right, so I will see you guys in a little while. Hey guys, so it is 8.07. So it is 8.07 right now and I applied a uh, mascara about two or three o'clock so it's been five and a half to six hours since I applied it the mascara and I have to say it is holding up super well the curl on my lashes is still full on they have not fallen I'm very impressed and one of the things I really like about this mascara is that it hasn't done that thing where it crumples and makes and those little black mascara droop what am I trying to say once that mascara formula dried up, it did not like crumb, it didn't crumble and fall on the, on the under eye area. So it has not done that, which is super impressive. And if it hasn't done it yet, I don't think that it will for sure. So I'm definitely super impressed with this mascara. I think it's definitely going to be my go-to mascara. It lengthened them, it voluminized them, it made them very, very curly, which is so helpful because my lashes are so straight, it's insane. I mean, I took a nap and it could have smudged everywhere on my face, but it did not, which is amazing. So, girl, if you can nap in your makeup, what can you not do? So that concludes my Hourglass Mascara Review. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure that you subscribe before you leave my channel so you don't miss out on any of the future posts that I make in the near future. And follow me on social media. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. The usernames will be in one of the corners on the screen as well as listed in the description box below. You guys have a fantastic day. Jesus loves you so very much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.